Hello everyone, I'm Elizabeth Shaw and this channel is all about the Narcissistic Personality Disorder to give you more understanding of the types of people that you're dealing with and different ways to overcome narcissistic abuse. This video is the most common patterns of narcissist behaviour. The word narcissist gets thrown around a lot these days. Everyone ex, everyone's ex seems to be a narcissistic person. And whilst in a lot of cases this is true, in others it's not. Some exes might come close as most people have a trait or two of the disorder. However, it is a personality disorder. So someone who cheats a lot doesn't mean that they are a narcissist if they haven't got the other traits. Someone who is confident, it doesn't make them a narcissist. Someone who takes selfies doesn't make them a narcissist. Also, some people are just negative or just toxic. You are allowed to love yourself. In fact, this is the main key to your own inner happiness. And we should all love ourselves first which can be extremely hard to learn, especially after narcissistic abuse. Most narcissistic people deep down don't actually love themselves. They are very hurt individuals, insecure, who fill their needs and make themselves feel better by sucking the life right out of others, destroying other people along their way. Not realising this continued pattern of behaviour is not a nice way to live for themselves or those around them. The narcissistic personality disorder is on a spectrum and there is those on the high end that are extremely toxic and dangerous and those on the lower end that you might be able to manage your time around them and all those in between. Not all narcissistic people cheat, all do lie. Some manipulative people are not actually narcissists, they don't destroy others to succeed and some successful people are there are many different types of narcissists out there and once you open up to others you'll notice just how similar they are in their treatment of others. A narcissist is a con artist, they will sell you a dream and deliver you a living nightmare. Here are some of the more common signs of how narcissists behave if you think or you are dealing with one or have been dealing with one. They will never be wrong and if they are it'll always be someone else's fault. Everyone makes mistakes and gets things wrong. We are human. It is how we learn, even from the basics of learning to walk, talk and eat. It's rare for any child to just open their mouth and talk perfectly straight away. And we do all talk differently. Most people lose this natural thought process that we don't always get it right the first time. Narcissistic people are scared of failure or mistakes and judgment of others. No one likes being pulled up on what they've done wrong, so most people avoid doing hurtful things. There is no wrong way or right way to live your life, only your way, so long as your intentions are good. However, with a narcissist, they will never admit to being wrong unless it meets a need of their own. Then they will downplay it or shift the blame onto others. They project all their faults onto others as they never look at themselves or issues that they cause. Nothing is ever their fault. It's always down to someone else within their own minds. They don't learn from the mistakes of their own actions and instead they just hit repeat time and time again. They react extremely badly if challenged or questioned, which most people can at times. Narcissistic people react badly all the time. When they have been exposed for wrongdoing or even feel criticism in any way, how do they react badly? They will do one of the following. They will either fight, temper tantrum, raise their voices, denial, blame shift, pity plays, make excuses or take flight, walk straight out the door, silent treatment and sulking and avoidance. Constant lies or exaggeration. There are different types of narcissistic people. Those who are successful and boast and exaggerate at just how incredible they are and those not as successful that will blame life and people for treating them so badly and those in between that will do both those who work hard and are successful want praise those who are lazy want pity in the narcissist reality they are the hero or the victim yet they are never the villain they lie about things they've achieved or exaggerate things they've achieved. They lie about excess. They lie about lies. They lie about family, lie about mistakes, lie to cover up the lies. 
In fact, some lie so much they believe their own lies. Now, good people can have bad things happen and fall. Good people can get caught up in a white lie. They will not lie about absolutely everything. Now, some people say they wear a false mask, one face to cover the true face. In my opinion, they are who they are. They have the admiration face at the beginning and with people when they meet them, which is them, but it's all about manipulation and lies. They play nice with that nice face to meet a need of their own or to let you know you owe them something further down the line. They are not helpful or kind because they care. They do this to use and manipulate people. The envy face when things don't go their way, where they seek to break people down or destroy those who've escaped them. And some are too lazy to seek revenge. Most, however, do the smear campaign. Good people can wear a mask in public for fear of being misunderstood or disliked. That's part of who they are. It's not to manipulate. It's not to destroy people. It's to fit in. Whatever face the narcissist has on, it is all about manipulation. Where they go, drama seems to follow. Now, life's hard, so drama does happen to people. Yet, with a narcissist, whatever they are doing, drama seems to follow. They might be gossiping and smearing people's names, playing people off against each other, provoking people, causing others to argue, lying, cheating, always seeking some form of drama. Narcissistic people have high levels of mood swings. They can have intense lows. Good people can have mood swings. Life gets hard, situations happen, environmental factors like the narcissist you have been or are dealing with, um, which can cause you massive highs and lows. Yet most people feel the pain and try to avoid it. Narcissistic people thrive from drama and negativity in those around them to make themselves feel better. Those around them end up walking on eggshells to avoid negativity and drama, trying to please them and not set them off. As a narcissist doesn't truly know what they want, they are a ticking time bomb and can go off without you even knowing what happened or what you did. They control others or use others. Controlling behaviour can be a sign in general. You can also have people who are perfectionists, so come across controlling. They'll not be manipulative with it. Or people who are highly insecure and they are not narcissistic. They just need extra certainty within their lives to feel safe. A person on the narcissistic personality disorder will try to control everything and everyone from how others see them and how others see you to how you see other people. They will act controlling in any given situation and they will use tactics like intimidation, threatening, pity play, silent treatments. They can be plain or vindictive and nasty when they want to be. They don't care for what impact their behaviour has on others, only that they have control. They take the power of controlling behaviour to extremes. Overts can be very direct, coverts can be more subtle. Remember, you cannot control how they act or what they do. You can control how you deal with it and how you respond. The best response with most narcissistic people is no contact. If this is not possible, limited contact, contact and limited communication and keep the focus on you. Manipulation. They seem to be the masters of manipulation but once you know what to look out for you know what they're up to. Especially when you're unaware of what they are that manipulation hits hard or what they are capable of. They are highly skilled at turning any disagreement into a massive argument, taking conversations off the original topic, making others blame themselves for the, for the narcissist's own bad behaviour. They gaslight others into self-doubt and self-blame. They can be extremely convincing and charming. Anyone who goes against them will find themselves in the midst of a mass smear campaign and being outcast as people take the narcissist's side when they put that charming face on. They control others and make decisions for others through guilt and blame to meet a need of their own. Knowing your own reality, writing key things down, letting go of those who don't support you. Now, 
it's hard, but being alone and being lonely are two very different things. You can be with a narcissistic person and feel so alone. You can be on your own and not feel lonely. It all starts within you and how you make yourself feel and not letting other people bring you down. They idolise, devalue, discard. This goes into their two faces. Whilst they want to win you over, they will do all they can to be admired. If they feel like control is slipping away, they'll devalue you until you give in and do exactly what they want at that moment. This changes from moment to moment, week to week, month to month, year to year. And they discard when they believe you're no longer meeting their needs. When they feel envious, they try to either win people back or destroy people. They can rationalise anything and convince others that they are correct. Distorting others' reality. They use pathological lying and manipulation from gaslighting, provoking and blame shifting. A narcissist will try to get others to doubt themselves tell by telling them that they're insecure or that something never happened. Some will admit, but find a way for it to be your fault or someone else's fault for why they did something wrong. In such a way that people often believe them. Anything that doesn't feel right to you most often isn't trust within yourself. They will most often ruin special occasions. Anything that isn't all about them, they will pull out all the stops to ruin. From birthdays to Christmases, weddings to funerals. If it's their birthday, they might find a way you didn't get something right or didn't get them what they wanted. If it's someone else's, they'll find a way to ruin it. They will provoke to get you in a bad mood, bring up things that happened years ago, bring the attention on to them. Now, if you've lost someone, they'll bring the attention on to them for someone they've lost and offer you little to no sympathy. In the beginning, they'll pull out all the stops to show you they care. Once hooked, this will stop. They have extremely low to no empathy and do not care for how other people feel who, and don't support people through the good or through the bad. Now, when you're with someone that doesn't support you, those people are not for you. Now, that is hard because there is times when you might be in a moment when you need the support and there'll be times when other people need the support. But it is about give and take. Sometimes it's 50-50, sometimes it's 20-80, sometimes it's 80-20. With a narcissist, it's all about meeting their own needs. They believe they already know everything. It's their way and their way only. They are not interested in others' perspectives, points of views or opinions as they believe within themselves that they already know everything. Rules simply do not apply to them, yet they apply to those around them. They believe they are above all others and some will even manipulate authorities and courts. They believe they're allowed to do as they please and all others should bow down to their needs. The narcissist is stuck with narcissistic personality disorder. They are not interested in changing as they don't see the faults within themselves. They are truly in the woe is me deep down and blaming all others. They will continue this pattern throughout life, often getting worse with age. It did not start with you and it will not end with you. Whatever they do to you, it's not about you, it's all about them. They want you to believe you're the problem to, so that you change who you are to help them. Most will straight out say to you, it's not all about you, because they believe it's all about them and their needs being met. They do not care for others, they only care for themselves. You cannot help them. You can help you by walking free. And it is actually about you, your happiness, your life, your choice to help others. They choose to destroy others. Whoever the narcissist is or was in your life, learn your own reality and your own truths. You do not need negative, toxic people who bring you down. Life's hard enough. Surround yourself with positive, supportive, uplifting people. Now, when it comes to life, it is all about ourselves creating our own happiness there is narcissistic people who it's all about them and they are hurt people who are going round hurting other people. And then there's 
good people who it is all about them creating their own happiness and they are usually hurt people uh, life has ways of throwing negative things your way they are usually hurt people but to fill their needs and to make it about them those hurt people go around trying to help people so you need to see the difference between hurt people who hurt people and hurt people who are help people there is plenty of good people in the world. So it's just recognise the patterns of behaviour, understanding that it's not your fault. That is just who they are, walking free and creating a much happier life for you. Now, we are all individuals, so it's about finding the methods that work for you. And you can and you will do this. Thank you for listening. Bye.